Hi everyone, I'm Dan Kaplan, executive editor of SC Magazine, and I am here at RSA Conference 2012 in San Francisco. I'm sitting beside Hugh Njimanzi, who is a CTO and VP of Worldwide Research and Development at HP Enterprise Security. Hugh, thanks for joining us. Now, Hugh, we're a couple of months into 2012. The economy is still in the gutter a bit. I mean, the stock market's doing well, but a lot of organizations are facing budget resource challenges. What are you hearing from CSOs around this? Um, yeah, this is a pretty challenging time for CISOs. Um, obviously, the uh, amount of threats are not going down. However, budgets are sort of staying flat and the responsibilities are increasing. So from what I'm hearing from the CISOs I talk to, a lot of them are less concerned about rolling out lots of expensive new technology and trying to figure out how to be more effective with what they have, trying to figure out maybe how to use combinations of the tools in ways that they hadn't thought about before. And so obviously the way we're working with them is trying to identify some of those best practices that can help people leverage limited resources. Yeah, so, you know, you mentioned limited resources. So, you know, when you have an economy like this, you need to come up with creative, innovative ways to get the job done. That's right. What are some of those things that folks are doing? Sure. Well, you can get a lot of leverage, for starters, by addressing the human people element. And that's by basically um, doing more training, making sure that your employees are more aware of cyber threats and some of the social engineering methods. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's really about the people. And most of the breaches can be avoided with a little more knowledge on the part of the potential targets. So that's one obvious avenue. Another avenue is to look at tools that you already have in-house and apply them in ways that are not necessarily obvious. For example, we have um, a lot of controls that are aimed at prevention, basically things that are enforced, things that block someone in an analogy with sort of physical security. It's like having door locks. And that's good, but controls are never gonna cover every eventuality. So one way to help mitigate those problems is to use other tools that you have, like monitoring tools, so that if you don't have a control to block something, you can at least identify very early when a breach occurs and then sort of prevent the spread, limit the scope, and recover much more quickly. And so basically, not just relying on one layer of defense can be very effective. Earlier today during his keynote, Art Coviello of RSA said that we're at the point now where organizations need to accept compromise. But we're not at the point where they need to accept the fact that data is going to leave the organization. So they can apply a certain controls, maybe making the uh, attacker have to spend more dollars and more money within an organization in order to get the assets and things that they want to pull out. That's very true. Uh, you can take a multi-layered approach to security, and in fact, we recommend it. And the idea is that even if someone breaches, um, to take an analogy, let's say someone breaks into your house. Well, if the valuables are in a safe, then just getting into the house is not enough. Once they discover the safe, they still have to deal with the fact that it might be chained to the wall, they might have to break into the safe, they can't take it off-site and then explore the contents. So similarly, you kind of want to be um, a hard shell, but then with the actual intellectual property and other assets inside your organization, individually protected. And there are tools like encryption so that your data can be protected, even if the data is accessed by someone who breached your perimeter then they should still not be able to use the data without going through a lot of additional effort. So it's just like a car, you know, you want to have so many defenses that um, if, they, if they walk around, they'll see something, a target that's easier than yours, and then you can still be safe. Hugh Njimanzi of HP, I want to thank you for being with us today. Very insightful answer, so thank you. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you.